farmer friend, singer songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack of all trades Chris Horn. And we're Those, Those Taste, Taste Bud Guys. guys. Crystal bottle. Not that part. That's not a crystal. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, we're gonna have another tequila here in front of us that uh, we picked up when it was down in Louisiana, New Orleans area. I don't think it's exclusive to that area by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, we did a little research on it. I have no idea. We've never had any. Um, we looked at the nom number just because people yell us about that. And we've not had any other tequilas from that number before. And it's 1146 if you're interested in it. Yeah. Um, don't necessarily have high hopes for this one, but I guess we're going to see. This is Cimarron uh, Reposado. Uh, I hate the plastic caps, although I will say, no, it's just a, it's just a, I thought it was going to have a fancy pour thing, but it doesn't. No, I was going to say like the uh, Koa. Yeah. Was the Koa or the MTL? It's Koa that had it, wasn't it? I think Koa. Cool yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, so this runs about thirty bucks at Total Wine. Um, and that boy, some kind of an interesting. Oh, that is. <laughs> the bar smells like paint thinner. <laughs> I'm not and, saying and cheese whiz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It does. Okay. So that's kind of a good sign. It has that kind of cheesy mm -hmm. nose to it. Fairly sweet. Um, it's a, it's a little, little skunky in the, yeah, it smells a little trash bin like, I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat that too much. I don't, yeah, I don't have high expectations for it to begin with, but it, you know, you really have to get underneath on the bottom to get any nose that's like pleasant. And then that, that sweetness comes out a little more. Yeah, you're right. But... All right, so, you know, let's we'll see where, where we're landing this thing. Mm -hmm. So, well, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of split on it, to be honest with you. So, here's what it didn't have a super sweet, mellow finish that has been uh, doctored up so much that I thought it was just gonna taste like uh, syrup. Yeah. Um, it's actually pretty peppery. Yeah, it's hot on the back end, uh, but that sweetness is nice on the front. Fairly. It's, it's got like a, a little sweet note before it kind of kicks you. <sighs> that pepper is kind of reminiscent of, uh, where was it? Not as extreme. Yeah. No, I see where you're going with it. Yeah, it's it's. I don't know. I, I'm with you. I'm not sure where I land. I mean, it, just yet. It. Um. I don't know if this has any additives or not. I don't. Almost certainly. It doesn't. Start, surely, surely, undoubtedly, it has to. Have you think? I know. I don't. I don't know. Um. I mean, if it doesn't, uh, cool, great. But if it does, I still feel like this is going to be one of these ones that, like, if you're just used to shooting Cuervo. This is going to be a, a better version, but not going to like blow your mind. That makes sense. I think at the end of the day, I'm, I'm not a fan of this one. I, I gotta say, after the second drink, well, let me let me take a couple more drinks. Then let's, I'll let me, so let me make sure of what I'm going to. The thing is, is like you're talking a thirty dollar price point, so you're in that category of like Milagro. Um, but I've got other thirty dollar bottles that I like, like what Casadores. Or what? I, I don't hate Milagro for that matter, but I think Milagro is pretty good. Co is nice. I mean, it's a. But I mean, if you're talking, even if you're talking thing. about an additive heavy yeah. tequila, even that Antil or something, at least it finishes nice, you know, and, and it's got a got a, got a good flavor to it. This is hot. Um, versus, it's not the heat. I don't mind the heat. I actually like heat. It, yeah. It's, it doesn't. It don't plastic. have a good finish. It's got a plastic. Finish. Really, kind of, yeah. kind of yucky on the rubber. I don't. I don't know. I go back and forth on it. I don't hate it. All right. I don't necessarily like the nose. 
and I don't necessarily like the finish. That sounds like you don't like and it. And <laughs> even the flavor is not like something that's way up there, you know, in the 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 notes of when it first cost crosses your palate. It's just not I'm, I can it's, I mean, like I say, don't, just because I don't like it doesn't mean somebody else isn't welcome to like it. Uh, you definitely should try it for yourself, but, um, not your thing. I don't think it's my thing. It's if you want to want something that's fairly hot, got a few peppery notes in it. It's going to finish a little bit bitter in my opinion. Um, but you're still under that $30 price point. You get to say you got a reposado. So, you, you know, if that, if that tickles your fancy, this might be a tequila for you. I do like the, oh. um, I, I've come to really actually kind of appreciate and like that cheesy note um, in tequilas. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Sometimes. It's, Sometimes. it's it got a nice, fair. like, warming touch to it. So that's about all I could say for this. It's fine. Um, I'm sure this bottle won't go to waste, but yeah. No, it's, no. Yeah. It's drinkable. I'm just saying for the money, there's others I would personally take for my money. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Now, now that being that said, nice. I think it's got a killer looking look. I love the labeling on it, which is one of the big reasons I bought it. It's kind of saloon like, but yeah, yeah, you know. All right, so a few pluses, a lot of cons. Um, if you haven't tried it and you've tried everything else in the sun, grab you a bottle, but um, don't uh, necessarily blow your money on it necessarily. I mean, that's. If, if you like what we said, those things that we <laughs> countered against, then, you know, hey, go grab it. All right. Uh, until next time. Where the rest of the tequila that you're not necessarily happy about. The food you're eating. Or the people you're meeting. Grab a buddy. Try something new. Mm -hmm.